What is going on, Ive Warriors? It's your boy Edward V, and today we're gonna talk about how you can enhance autophagy while still utilizing the 168 method. One thing that gets talked about a lot in the intermittent fasting community: how can you do the 168 and benefit from autophagy when everything we're hearing tells us that you need to do longer fast to activate autophagy? I'm going to touch on the nuance of autophagy and things that you can do to enhance autophagy while still utilizing the 168 if that's the intermittent fasting protocol that works for you. I'm going to go ahead and break that down in this video. Stay tuned. Okay guys, let's talk about autophagy and activating it for the 16-8. There actually have been studies that show fasting for a short duration can still activate autophagy. So believe it or not, you can still activate it only because autophagy is kind of always there. What you're really talking about is how much autophagy is there and how elevated your autophagy is in your body at any given point. So even if you eat, you may have autophagy, but just a very low level of autophagy. If you fast for 16 hours, you have a better level of autophagy than someone who eats all the time. If you fast for 20 hours, that's better than 16 8. And if you fast for 20 three hours that's better than fasting for 20 hours in terms of autophagy but i want to remove autophagy and fasting for just one minute and i want you to understand that fasting in and of itself is not the only activator for autophagy autophagy is not being activated because of the fasting it's being activated because stress is being put on your body once you can wrap your mind around that you can easily see how we can get to a better autophagy level even while utilizing the 16-8 for example the reason fasting activates autophagy at a great level is because you are not taking in nutrients during the times that you're fasting. So because you're going through this long period of not consuming nutrients, your body is reacting accordingly and this stressor then elevates autophagy. The reason this happens is because your body is incredibly efficient. The same way metabolic adaptation happens because your body is incredibly efficient. Metabolic adaptation happens when you're at a caloric deficit for some time and your body adjusts and then can work with the calories that you're giving it, thus burning less calories, working with what you're giving it. Autophagy is the same thing. Because there is a lack of nutrition coming in, your body decides to self-eat the cells that are not up to par, so to speak, so that your body can work as efficiently as possible. That cell is not needed those cells do not need to take in nutrients and if they exist they're going to be sucking up all the limited nutrients that are coming in so might as well just get rid of them it's a stressor and it's a response to that stressor thus autophagy but other stressors can activate autophagy so if you're doing the 16-8 and you want to enhance autophagy i'm going to give you some pointers and some things you can do to enhance that one thing that can actually activate autophagy is polyphenols and those are macronutrients that are normally found in some plants and when you consume all these different polyphenols they actually create a stressor in the body and can activate autophagy and you can find some polyphenols in coffee and green tea so taking in coffee and taking in green tea can actually activate autophagy because you're taking in some polyphenols that are coming from the macronutrients in both of those items. So if you are drinking green tea and if you're drinking coffee, both which can be utilized during your fasted state, you can actually add more elements and more stressors that can help increase autophagy in your body. Another thing that you can do to elevate autophagy is actually be at a caloric restriction. If you're in a caloric restriction, that will lend to a stressor because you're not getting enough calories to maintain the mass on your body. You're at a caloric restriction, which means you're stressing the body. Thus, you can activate autophagy. Calorie restriction has directly been seen to inhibit TOR complex 1, TORC 1, which promotes the anabolic metabolism. And when that is inhibited, AMPK can also be activated and autophagy is elevated. So I do want you to understand one thing. Autophagy is catabolic. That doesn't mean catabolic as in you're losing your muscle, but it is something that comes from the catabolic state. You can still get autophagy and still build muscle, believe it or not, because all 
although you are catabolic at points throughout the day, you are also anabolic in points throughout the day. So you're catabolic, anabolic, catabolic, anabolic. If you want to build muscle, however, you want to make sure you're more anabolic than you are catabolic when it's all said and done. What is the net negative or net positive amount of anabolism or catabolism? In those pockets, however, of catabolism, you do want to be able to enhance autophagy. And being at a caloric restriction reduces torque complex one, thus enabling more autophagy. So we talked about coffee, green tea, being at a caloric restriction, but also utilizing aerobic exercise can activate autophagy because this is a stressor. And it has been seen that within 30 minutes of aerobic exercise, there is a high elevation of autophagy. Your cells are simply trying to recover from the stress of doing aerobic exercise. And because of this, your body elevates autophagy because the cells that don't need to be there don't need to be there and your body knows this. So when it removes those cells, it can work more effectively with the situation you are putting it through. It's a stressor that is causing autophagy to activate. Remember, autophagy is not simply activated by fasting, it's activated by stress. The body adapts to this stress. Another thing that can assist you in elevating autophagy is shocking your body. So things like hot cold shocks can improve autophagy. So if you were to just dump yourself in an ice bath, for example, that quick transition from your body temperature being at normal temperature and then instantly being dumped into cold temperatures and then with standing that cold temperature increases autophagy. Autophagy is increased because of this. Going into the shower and alternating between cold and hot, that switch back and forth is creating a level of stress within the body temperature regulation. Because of this, autophagy is activated. One thing I forgot to mention is that olive oil also has polyphenol inside of it. So you could throw this in the bucket of uh, things with coffee, green tea, if you want to use olive oil. But the reason it's a little different is because olive oil can break you out of your fast. So if you're going to eat, you can utilize olive oil because olive oil can also help with autophagy as well. Lifting weights can also do this as you're putting stress on the muscle belly, stress on the muscle tissue. This can also help activate autophagy. Also putting your body under stressful situations where things that would normally be easy tend to be harder because of the scenario that you put yourself in. For example, hot yoga, where you're doing yoga in a very hot location. Although you're doing mechanically slow movements, you are are still activating autophagy because you're now doing it in an area that's producing heat and it's very stressful for your body for the regulation of your body temperature so your body responds by removing the cells that don't need to be there so it could be effective and before you think that wait autophagy is just eating things what's the point of autophagy your body is always reproducing new cells your body's always developing new cells creating new cells so autophagy simply removes the bad cells it removes the cells that are not up to par so that your bad to good cell ratio keeps getting better and better in your favor. So don't look at autophagy in a bubble and not understand why it's beneficial. It is beneficial. A lot of neurodegenerative diseases happen because of poor cells. If you allow your body to have these moments of enhanced autophagy, it'll clear out the bad cells and then eventually it'll get to points where it creates new cells and you'll have less of the bad cells because you were able to clear them out. This is the true detox. It happens because of autophagy. It doesn't happen because of a juice cleanse. It happens is because you are actually detoxing your body by alleviating itself of the bad cells. Now you don't have to utilize all of these strategies, but you can use some of them or whichever one you see that you can fit into your regimen. If you throw these things in while doing the 16-8, you can enhance your autophagy simply by creating all of these different stressors. Fasting creates a specific stressor. Workout creates a specific stressor. Reducing calories and losing body mass creates a specific stressor. All of them together just simply helps you enhance the autophagy levels. So I hope this video was very helpful for you. And if you're fearing autophagy not happening because you're doing the 16-8, I hope this cleared some things so that you understand why autophagy is actually being activated and that it is not simply tied to fasting, but it's tied to stress. Fasting creates an element of stress but so do the other things that I've mentioned in this video. I wanna go ahead and thank my patrons from my Patreon and I'm gonna go ahead and put their names right up here.
And of course, as always, I'll see you on Wednesday for another FAQ. Peace!